Howdy folks, how are we doing? Got me mate Penny Poo. Welcome to the Saunders Shack. Now, it's going to be a little mini series I've decided to do. Um, it's all sort of stemmed from um, basically James May, really. Um, I like James May, I enjoy watching him on the Grand Tour, Top Gear, um, as well as Clarkson and Hammond, but I do enjoy May. Anyway, I've been um, re-watching some of the series he's done on his own. One of them was James May's Toy Stories, which was oh, a good few years ago now. But anyway, I've re been re-watching it. And he's basically the toys of his childhood. Scale Electrics, Meccano, uh, Model Railways, Lego. Um, he's done super builds of all of them. And it's really interesting watching. He's really... A very interesting chap to watch but anyway getting back to the point it sort of inspired me to get back into lego um now i used to as well as playing with britons when i was a young lad i used to play with lego and technic um which is the more advanced sort of version of lego you know you can make things move and that sort of thing and after watching this thing sort of jeeved me up he built a, a full-size lego house out of um, a 4x2 Lego brick, um, a complete house, complete two-story uh, two house out of Lego, and it's sort of, you know, I got into the thing. Anyway, I looked on Amazon, and something caught me eye. This here, if Penny will get away, we'll slide it there. Now, what that is there, is a Lego Technic Liebherr R ninety eight hundred, and it's a monster. Can you, Penny? Would you please move your bum? I don't know what she's looking out there for. Maybe she's looking for a daughter or not. I don't know. But anyway, Liebherr R nine ninety eight hundred. It was, and I think it still is, the biggest backhoe in the world. Eight hundred ton. Um, absolute monster of a thing um like i say the biggest hydraulic backhoe in the world um and there's various videos on youtube that i enjoy they're one of lee bear's own on there um with forest mining uh, it's a really good video to watch about these it tells you all about them but anyway i decided i wanted to get this and i wanted to build it penny penny come here penny come here come here you're not helping the job are you um so that's what I did. I bought the bugger and I thought actually it'd be quite interesting to um have you along with me. And you know, we can obviously it's gonna take a long time to build, probably twelve you know, over twelve hours to build, I should think, because there's over four thousand pieces, it does tell you on it somewhere. Uh I can't read from here, but it's over four thousand pieces. Um and you can after you've all done, it does, you know, it moves, it's got its own motors in it and everything. It runs on the pneumatics. Um, you control it with your phone. So I thought it'd be a really interesting thing for you to, you know, help me build along the way and I'll um, answer some questions while I'm doing it. So anyway, let's get to it. And um, <laughs> you are a funny dog. Let's get to it. Let's get it open and see what we got. Right, Penny, let's get stuck in, shall we? Right. I say it's been a long time since I've had anything to do with Lego. Um, I have still got a rather large collection of Lego, um, although I did give a lot of my Technic away, um, which is a pain, because I was gonna, you know, if I had a load more Technic, I would make something, what I used to do, I'd make anything, I'd make tractors, combines just out of my imagination and um you know i'd buy a set build it take it apart and then i'd make something else out of my own imagination it was brilliant and that's what that is what lego is all about although to be honest with this and the sort of sort of model it is i don't think i will when i build it it will stay built and it'll go on display um i don't think i will have it apart and rebuild it but you never know but you know i used to 
I used to, here's the bucket, size of, this is, this is a really, really big model. Um, Penny, you're not exactly helping the job here, are you? Um, but yeah, I used to, along with me Britain's models, you know, carpet farming used to do, I, I was building Lego, all sorts of stuff, like I say, tractors, come on, buses, trucks, you name it, I used to build it. And um, well, that's the, that's either the motor or the hub where you plug everything in. Um, you know, I have built other things over the years as well. I did have a period where I was into RC cars. Old box in here of some sort. I'm not sure what this is. Um, yeah, I had caught one point. I had, well, I had a helicopter. Well, I had two helicopters. Um, you know, big ones. The helicopter was a nitro one about that sort of size. Um, I had electric one. I've had airplanes, but um, actually never flown them. And I had about four or five cars at one point as well. Um, but uh, I've got rid of all them to a mate, mate who still does it, so. It's like when you, when you grow up, you get the money to buy the stuff that you wanted to get as a kid. There's two books in there. If that one of them whole books is a manual, that's a big manual. Let's tip this out. So there we go. That is everything. Put the knife away. We don't want you skinning yourself, do we, Pen? So out of all these bags here, and there is a lot. We're going to build a Lee Bear 9800, R9800. So, um, and we're going to have help from Penny. Fodge will make an appearance. Ted will make an appearance, no doubt. Um, and what I want you to do is send me in some questions so that when I start building this, which will be on the, the next uh, Saunders Shack video, um, I'll just answer them whilst we're building it. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that quick vid. And we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Pen? Ta-ta!